about to witness is one of the most sinister sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever produced in the history of t t television. Right, I've been looking for you for the last half hour. Instead, we we'll meet in front of the Flemish masters. No, we didn't. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. You, you were in the Pissarro, weren't you? That's right. Well, I said I'd be outside the abstract. We go through the old track. I was going to go round the Velasquez, through the abstracts, up the impressionists, and then in front of the Flemish masters. No. <laughs> you know, Pete, I reckon that. Uh, I reckon there's a lot of rubbish in this gallery, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, Well, not only rubbish, Dad, there's a lot of muck about. Yeah. I've been looking all over the place for something good. Yeah. I went up to the manager. I said, yeah, I got him by the collar. I said, here. Yeah. yeah. I said, what? Dad, I want you say, Dad. I said, where's that bloody Chinese flying horse in? What do you say? He said, get out. <laughs> So I had to run up the impressionists for half an hour, and I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, what I can't understand, frankly, is that uh, there's not a Vernon Ward gallery in here. There's not a duck in the building. There's no Peter Scott. There's no Vernon Ward. Not a duck to be seen. Nothing. There's more ducks than you've had off breakfast, Dan. There's more, there's plenty of ducks. If he's done anything, he's done ducks. Yeah. He's done ducks in all positions. Yeah. Ducks in the morning. That's in the morning, that's in the evening, that's in the summertime. What's that song? You see 16 of his ducks, you see 32 little eyes following you around the room. No, you only see 16 because they're flying sideways and you can't see the other eye on the other side. No, but you get the impression, Dad, that the other eye is craning around the beat to look at you, don't you? <laughs> It's a sign of a good painting, Dad. If the eyes follow you around the room, it's a good painting. If they don't, it isn't. Yeah. It's funny you say that, Pete, because I was in the bathroom the other day. Of course you were, Dad. I remember that. Of course I was, too. <laughs> and uh, I had the feeling, I had the feeling of somebody in the room with me, you know. Yeah. I thought, funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom door locked, you know, funny. Somebody in the room with me. Funny, you know. Oh, yeah. Didn't see no one. I mean, I thought, you know, I felt these eyes burning in the back of my head. Funny, you know. <laughs> so, uh, I'll whip round like a flash. I see the bloody laughing cavalier up there. <laughs> having a giggle. I said, yeah, I felt so embarrassed, you know. You would, yeah. So I went out the bathroom and I went across to Mrs. Connolly's across the road and asked if I could use her toilet. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, you feel a bit daft with her somebody looking at the back of you. Yeah. She's, she's all right, though, because she's only got a bowl of pansies in her toilet. Well, a real bowl of pansies or a painting, Dad? Ah, uh, real painting, Pete. Oh, that's all yeah. right, then. I'll tell you what's even worse, Dad, than the Laughing Cavalier. What's that, Can Pete? you think of anything worse? No, There Pete. is something worse than the Laughing Cavalier, which my Auntie Muriel has. She has the bloody Mona Lisa in her, no, in her really? toilet. Yes. Oh, dreadful, that yeah. awful snippy look about her, looking so superior, you know, peering down at you. She looks as if she'd never been to the lab in the life. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing about the laughing cavalier, at least he has a giggle, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sit there all prissy. No, no, no. no. Disapproving of you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's dreadful. Yeah. Have you been down to Rubens? No. You haven't seen the Rubens? No. Right over there. Is there? Yes, lovely. He does all the fat ladies with nothing on. Great big fat ladies. Yeah. Except for a tiny little wisp of gauze. Always lands on the appropriate place, if you know what yeah. yeah. Always the wind blows a little bit of gauze over you know where now. Yeah. <laughs> See it down there, can't you? Of course, you know, it must be a million to one chance, Pete, that the gauze you know, lands in the right place at the Coffee right time when yeah. he's painting. I bet there's thousands of paintings that we're not allowed to see where the, where the cause hadn't la landed in the, in the right place, yeah. you know, it's on your nose or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, I suppose if the gauze landed on the wrong place, Dad, you know, landed on the nose or the elbow or somewhere unimportant, what Rubens did was put down his paint and went off to have lunch, probably. Yeah, <laughs> or like a good look. Yeah. <laughs> Is that bit them, um, them Botticelli cherubs? Oh, they're lovely, place. little Botticelli cherubs. Yeah. Like them. They've all gone. Yeah. They died out, of course. I hunted them down for their sink silken skin, you know, Dad. <laughs> no, they couldn't, I couldn't kill them, Pete, because they were immortal. No, they weren't. They shot them through with arrows through their tiny little bellies, and then oh. their skin was turned into underwear for rich ladies. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, I reckon they went up to heaven like the angels. No, they didn't.
Because, uh, of course, there's no call for angels now. No, you don't see much of them these days, no, do you? No. Uh, Mrs. Wisby saw one, actually, the other day in the garden. <laughs> yeah, she saw this angel. Actually, it turned out to be a burglar. <laughs> she went down She went down on her knees praying to it. It was in the kitchen whipping away her silver. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Have you seen that bloody Leonardo da Vinci cartoon? No. I couldn't see the bloody joke. <laughs> <laughs> Went down there, nothing. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, Peter, a uh, sense of humour must have changed over the years, oh, you course, know. Of course, you know, that's why it's not funny. No. I bet when that da Vinci cartoon first came out, I bet people were killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet old da Vinci had an accident when he done it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's difficult to see the joke, just that lady sitting there with the children around her. It's not much of a joke as far as I'm concerned. Uh. No, well, apart from that, Pete, it's a different culture. Yeah. It's, it's Italian, you it's see. It's Italian, eight, eight, eight. We, don't, we don't understand it. I mean, for instance, the mousetrap did terribly in Pakistan. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Another thing we've wasted money on is that bloody Cezanne, Grand Baigneurs. Yeah. Have you seen that load of rubbish? No. It's over there. Oh, there yeah. it is, those fat nude ladies with their bottoms towards you. Yeah. That's Le Grand Baigneurs. You know what it means, don't you? What's it? Big bathers. So? That's all it means, yeah. big bathers. 500,000 quid we pay for that. Those nude women come out of our pocket dump. Yeah. That's, that's worth more than that. Uh, it's worth more than Tottenham Hotspur, isn't it, eh? Well, it's worth about the same now they've signed Gilzean at centre forward, but yeah. it's not worth 500,000 quid that load, is it? Works out about £50,000 of body, doesn't it? Well, you could get the real nude ladies over there for that price. Yeah. <laughs> My Aunt Dolly would have done it for nothing. <laughs> she does anything for nothing, doesn't she? Uh, you just seen the Leonardo da Vinci joke, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I must say, you can't tell whether that's a good painting or not because you can't see their eyes, whether they follow you around or not. <laughs> no, the sign of a good painting like that, Dad, with their backs towards you, is if the bottoms follow you around the room. <laughs> it's a good painting, the bottoms would follow you around the room. All right? Yeah. So I'll test it then. You go and have a look. No, I'll have a see if I... They won't bloody badge, I tell you that, mate. <laughs> of course, I can't look directly at it. No. Otherwise, you know, you'll know I'm looking and yeah. you get all cagey. I've got, you know, it'll be fine. Are they moving, Dad? I think they're following me, Pete. I don't think they are, Dad. I reckon they are, Pete. No, those bottoms aren't following you around the room. Your eyes are following the bottoms around the room. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? Of course it is, and a good deal of difference being followed by a bottom and you following a bottom. It's totally different. Well, you come here, then. You see what I mean. I don't see anything at all, just a load of bottoms, extremely stationary to me. Well, you go that way and I'll go this way and you see if your bottoms move the same as mine. Oh, we're a bit difficult for the bottoms, won't we, if you go in different directions. Well, they'll divide up amongst themselves. That's all right. Mine are moving, Pete, I'll tell you. Oh, my bottoms haven't moved, Dad. Mine are going berserk. No, mine are not. Might moving for Oh, there goes one of yours. That's right. Oh, smashing all over the place. He's coming after you, Dad. No, don't be dumb, Pete. See you in the Dutch Masters. Bye, Uncle. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. He's a credit to his race. What race is that? The 100-yard dash. <laughs> Science, huh? They can put a man on the moon. Yeah, yeah but they can't put a moon on a man. Ha, ha, ha. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Quack, 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 quack. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit.